What do you do with those people? I think that it was done really seamlessly just went from the beginning of them developing the story that we wanted it to be, or they wanted it to be before we came on, to appear to be a traditional World War II story and then they kind of yank the rug from under you and kind of add this crazy batshit experience into it and just see how these people who think they're in pretty normal circumstances, how they react to this extra crazy element that's been added. Yeah, and I definitely think that the twist in the film worked really well and the zombies in World War II uh, era is actually a good match. And I find that not like, you know, uh, surprising at all. It's just like, it's a, it's a good balance, a good uh, continuity in the journey. Everything and more. Yeah, and more, exactly. It was incredible. The scale of the, of the project was enormous and all the, the location was phenomenal. We've been working with the best crew in the world, and so the stage that they create and they build, the laboratory, everything that you see in the film was actually real. Mm. They, they built everything on their own, so it was just like making us just have to react and make our lives so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> the zombie part, uh, not so much, just mm. because I didn't want to. I didn't want to learn how to react to seeing a zombie for the mm -hmm. first time, if that makes sense. Like, I just wanted to understand what the time was, the time period, yeah. the era, like we discussed before, the era that we were living in, and, you know, how people would spend their everyday lives. And then when the zombie part came into it, okay, holy shit, this is something crazy. How am I going to live in this? And, you know. Yeah, no, definitely. I think, um, as I said, as said Jimen, the interesting part was to get the most comfortable in the era of the 1940 mm. and the Second World War and what happened. And when you were comfortable, the action star, but doesn't hasn't been ready for that, is like, which make us really believable about Things that I really uh, like enjoy the most with uh, Overlord is a lot of character-driven narrative, and you can really get attached to all the characters. And so, when the characters are reacting into action and like terrifying experiences in front of them, when Boyce is going on on his own experimenting things, it's just like you you really you really care for him because he doesn't know what's going on, and mm. he played it really well as well. You know, he's very subtle and everything because in his preparation to stay in 1940 have been so good in the same time just can leave space to more play and like having fun into it. <laughs>